maybe a bird he came. The Nachman of Breslov says uh, to be careful with Chachmas in Avedis Hashem. So he's not speaking about Chachmas Stam, which is philosophy, which the Psad Yegoin said you should. Uh, Sa'ad Yagoyin said it's a mitzvah to study philosophy because it only assures you that your religious claims are true by uh, deliberate, by going through it. So, but that again was in an age where people were very educated and enlightened and there, there, were, there were barely anyone that, was, that only had a one Tchinech uh, al Kodesh, which is called they're nice dogs. They like to play. Are you afraid of it? Uh, so he is... You could argue that he's probably not speaking about the Tanya if you want to, but um, it doesn't matter. But he's speaking about what is Chachmas and Avedis Hashem. So the Alter Rebbe gives people answers. The Tanya is a book of, really, it's a book of uh, Eitzis. What's an Eitz? Uh... Chachmas and Abayz Hashem would be uh, like you're going to a doctor and you're asking him when is the, uh, a good amount of exercise that when you pray, you're very focused. So you're going to a guy that's teaching you about exercise and, 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 and diet and habit uh, of uh, sleeping. Eat sleep, and, uh, eat, sleep, and exercise. Three most important things. The Rosh Tevis of S-E-X is easy to remember. S for sleep, E for eat, and X for exercise. So... Uh, so, so, so uh, those are very important. That helps you daven. So if you're healthier, you could daven. So what, is, what does a Mahman mean by Chachmas and Avedis Hashem? So he does not mean pure philosophy, which was, again, considered by Saad Yagoyim to be a mitzvah or, uh, and other uh, Yiddish philosophers at his time. But uh, then there is also... Um, so he probably means like Sfarim that are not pure Kabbalah, like, like, like all these Partsufim and, and all that stuff. Because uh, that's not chachmas. That's just mysticism. Shvili derekia, akudim, adam kadmo, and gods. It's it's all questions on how God creates the world, uh, and alchemy, and and uh, alchemy is pretty much like a religion. And the Machman says these things are dangerous, or they're uh, going to lead you into heresy, or to you know. And uh, I think it was. I, I, I think it was a, a Baruch of Mezbush uh, that gave the Alter Rebbe a very hard time. But a Baruch of Mezbush it wasn't, uh, he was just a crazy, um, um, a nervous, uh, bad nervous system he had, and he was intellectually uh, sicko. And his whole uh, get up and show was that he was, uh, that he had supernatural powers because he was the of the Baal Shem Tif. So, very bad claim on very bad uh, reasoning. Like, like, first of all, you're a liar because you probably don't have supernatural powers because you couldn't even take care of your own mental pro- uh, nervous uh, system. And, uh, pro- uh, and, uh, and also because you uh, uh, claim that it's because you're a grandson of the Baal Shem Tov. So he was a powerful guy and he, he, he really did some terrible things at al But he was also against uh, uh, Tanya because he thought it was philosophy. And everybody knew philosophy or any type of thinking was the enemy. Even if you're studying history, you could come up with kfira questions. What is kfira anyway and what is the danger that Mahman is talking about? The danger that Mahman is talking about, remember whenever any religious person, a Catholic order or a, a from Yid says the word danger in terms of philosophy, like the boy from Yeshiva University said on Pesach, he said, oh, some philosophy could be dangerous, so I'll tell you what the danger is, in very short, so you know. It means that you might be a little bit more sophisticated, more educated, more enlightened, more clear, that, you'll, that you won't be uh, interested in coming back to that class anymore. You might, because you're not going to leave Yiddishkeit, you're just going to go hang out with a more sophisticated type of Yidin, a more rational, a more modern uh, type of, of, of group of Yidin because Yiddishkeit has that I, I don't know endless amazing groups uh, uh, and each one is better than the other until those who are completely like uh, assimilated so um, so so the danger is that, you, that a Nachman speaks about and the danger that the boy in, in the year 2016 in New York City talks about is the same danger 
that you're not gonna you're not gonna keep coming back to the to the same uh, shear in Yanigol the Mashiach to the same shear. That's the danger there. So so the Alter Rebbe is really dealing with people's anxieties. He's really dealing with with stuff, and uh, he uh, it and and the Machman himself also was trying to help people by telling them just be simple, uh, and have these emotional sessions in the forest where you talk to God. And he even suggests that you should listen to God, which is great because the pietists by the Christians were saying that the sacred, uh, sticking to the text, which for the Yidin that would be halacha, right? Because nobody was really using Tanakh. Uh, it was usually halacha was the final word. Um, and, 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 and that would be rules over, uh, over compassion and over kindness which would lead people to, in most times, to be cruel. Because Adnachah mentions in the same Torah that learned in the title of Malachi And uh, he says that be simple, don't worry, and then he goes, Dahainu, right after he says, you should, it's a very short Torah, about uh, five set to seven lines. And he says, Dahainu, right after he finishes saying, don't go into Chachmas, looking for Chachmas in Avaidus Hashem, right? What could that be? And then he goes, Dahainu, and then he talks about people who could be, uh, it's not clear, it could either be like the very medactic briskers who are very medactic in mitzvahs and go out of their way for it and uh, be mahader in every little thing, or he could be talking about mekubalim that do things like five times, like they make kiddush because they think they weren't yaitza, they make avdala again because somebody talked out before uh, pouring the wine on the candle. So somebody said, oh, if you, if you, made, a, if you made a sound, you have to hear Abdullah again. And that's, of course, learn it in the title of Malachi Shadis. If you come to a, for example, if you come into a, a, a city, uh, um, any metropolitan city, chances are 70% of the mezuzis, we're throwing out a number, is puzzle. So you can make it your life's mission and campaign to fix all those mezuzis. Other than if you have another trick up your sleeve, some, some trick that you're you're not being uh, honest, but if you really believe that you just want to fix all the mezuzahs, uh, then uh, that's what the Nachman's saying. Learn the title of Malachi Shadis. But this, we're the origin of the of the statement of learn the title of Malachi Shadis was when pe- when when these uh, separatists who would sit and, and, and pray all day would, uh, would 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 worry about they're not clean, their bowel movements, their their. And they didn't have these uh, modern showers to clean, but they were worried. And Abnachman says, when you wake up in the morning, go right away and daven. Don't wait until your um, your, your insides are clean from uh, excrement or whatever it is, because uh, it's uh, it's never clean. Abnachman says. So he's basically saying, give it up. Um, But he's talking about, at the end, he's not knocking the philosophers or those Chachmas and Avedis Hashem, but he's talking about people who are medactic in mitzvahs. Now, I don't think that there's anything wrong with them. Some of these people, that's their passion. That's what they live for. They live to do a mitzvah perfectly. They live to do it once, twice, three times. So, If Nachman is talking about them personally, and I think personally these people shouldn't be uh, pushed around. Uh, those who are medactic, those who daven long, for example, uh, or, or they daven twice because they're not sure, for them it gives them comfort. And those who are medactic in the mitzvahs, that's their passion. They, they look uh, forward to this. Uh, they, they, they save up for it. They, they look forward to it. Uh, the, the the issue is, and this is already going into philosophy and planning and rational thinking and being a leader, is what happens when these b- these habits uh, of being yaitze not yaitze and the med- medactic in the mitzvahs, as opposed to just doing it simply, if the tzitzis is kosher or puzzle, doesn't really matter. Chances are, anyways, most tzitzis is not is not really kosher because nobody really knows the original. Uh, tzitzis that you're supposed to be yitzu with anyway. And if Bechlal it's a mitzvah for someone who's a head yet not a kayan to wear tzitzis. So, so uh, he goes, here you go into uh, where it can become cruel. That's where you, where, that's where education makes you a leader. So where can it become cruel, which is like the story of the Holocaust uh, survivor who his, uh, a, a, a boy came from a Balchuvi yeshiva and told him his sukkah is 
is not uh, kosher, it's puzzle, he's looking at the schach, he's looking at how he built it. So the survivor wanted to feel lishtayech. Um, why do secular people fast on Yom Kippur? He wants to be part of it, so you want to have a kosher sukkah. For me, it was a complete joke because I was already, you know, I got older and I understood this nonsense. So I said to him, who gives a fuck if it's kosher or not? If God doesn't like it, he doesn't have to eat here. He could go eat his lamb chops in the Judanian uh, temple. Uh, the guy was a little shocked, but what could you do? And of course, this was someone who didn't have the intelligence to understand what to say and what not to say. But usually the masses will always fall victim to such things. So it's, 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 it's always going to be, uh, it's irreconcilable, but uh, you can always do your best with a little bit of thinking. If you could be a little bit rational, we could solve a lot of heartache and pain for people, especially those who are trying to do the mitzvah. Thank you.